how your brain is getting hacked. That's right. Your brain is getting hacked. I've, I've seen this before and I didn't, I didn't play it. So there's a, there is a video here. I'm not going to play the video. And if you want to watch the video, go again to, uh, go, go actually go to iState.tv uh, forward slash zero, 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 zero. That's four zeros. And you get all the show notes that you'll include the, the, the video here, but I just want to, I just want to go over what what this uh, what this uh, what this guy wrote. This is from BigThink.com, and he's writing here. One thing we don't talk about is that it's sort of hard to talk about this. Our minds have these kinds of backdoors. There's a kind of if you're human and you wake up and you open your eyes, there's a certain set of dimensions to your experience that can be manipulated. Well, you can be influenced. You can be influenced by. Uh, by the the type of not not just the information that you take in, but how you take in the information, and and I think that that's where he's he's going with this here. So I'm going to skip down here. So it says so knowing this, it turns out that there's this whole playbook of persuasive techniques that actually I learned when I was at the Stanford Persuasive Technology Lab, and that most people in Silicon Con Valley and the tech industry learned as ways of getting your attention. So one example is we're all vulnerable to social approval, absolutely, or social ostracism, either way. We care what other people think of us. So for example, when you upload a new profile photo of yourself on Facebook, there's a moment when our mind is very unvulnerable to knowing what do other people think of my new profile photo? And so we get a uh, new like on our profile photo. Uh, Facebook uh, could actually message me and say, oh, you have new likes on your photo profile. Your whatever, your profile photo. And it knows that we're vulnerable. And, and it's reinforcing, by the way, it's reinforcing that social approval type of thinking is, I think, where he's going here. And the thing that uh, that they control is the dial. The technology companies control the dial for when and how long your profile photo shows up on other people's news, feed, news feeds, blah, blah. They can orchestrate it so that more people see it or less people see it as the case might be. And the problem is they don't do this because they're evil. They do it because again, they're in this race for our attention. They're going to reward uh, uh, the things that they think will catch, get in, uh, attention. They're going to put more of it out there. But it, 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 it basically, it begins to condition us to seek, you know, seek the likes and the shares and seek social approval. And I, I mean, I, I mean, I, it kind of uh, it, it takes us away from self awareness, and it and it and it definitely reinforces a collectivist type of mindset where you're seeking the approval of the great big Borg around. Uh, uh, but he continues here. People become addicts to slot machines. I think it's two to three times faster than any other kind of gambling in the casino. So it's insane. And why is that? Because it's very simple. You just pull the lever and sometimes you get a reward and sometimes you don't. And the more random it is, the more variable it is, the more addictive it becomes. Now, I actually want to uh, say a little bit more about this. Go. This article is, is focused on the social approval access of, of, of how... Facebook and other social media is hacking your brain, but it's actually hacking your brain in, well, more ways than, than this. And, and I'm, I'm going to just add another one. There's other ways, but I, I wanted to mention another way that social media is hacking your brain. It is training you to think in smaller and smaller bites. And you, you cannot... Uh, within these little information bites, you cannot really, you, you can't really pursue a complex chain of thought. And you'll find yourself increasingly less likely to read anything that's more than a paragraph long. You know, the, the emergence of the, uh, the TLDRs, you know, too long, didn't read, <laughs> you know, that's, <laughs> that's happening more and more. And, and so people are much more easily manipulated if, if the way that they're looking at the world is through these, these, these small little bites, these, these highly emotional bites that either 
reinforce that social acceptance or or make you doubt that social acceptance. It makes you much more manipulable. And and, and it's not just governments that want to manipulate you. It's all, you know, it's it's, it's non-government organo- organizations. I want to manipulate you. I confess, I want to manipulate you. I want to manipulate you to begin to think of the world in a way that is not it's it's not centered around the notion that it's polite and acceptable for one entity to have a monopoly on violence and to use that violence to force others to live up to a moral code that is not is going far and be, uh, way way beyond simply checking people for harming others. So yeah, I want to manipulate you and and in that vein, yeah, I'm I'm going to try to produce this type of content too, this type of quick uh dash uh I'm going to try to meet you where you live uh and uh do my part however I can to 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 nudge folks towards well, away from the small bites and away from so much needed needing that social acceptance because these are the ways that not just governments but all types of entities out there are 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 basically making you an easy mark you're just it's just much easier now for us to manipulate you to make you think what we want you to think so Yes, it is true. Facebook, Tinder, all these other things, they're, they're, they're hacking your brain and they're hacking them in many more ways than, than this article included. But this was, this was a good conversation starter.